So one idea that's really useful in circuit theory is this idea of simplifying a circuit. So basically this is a way that we can uh, go and make the analysis easier um, by giving us a, a kind of a simpler circuit layout to analyze. Uh, so you might, for example, have some network of resistors. Uh, so let me just draw some diagram. Uh, suppose that this was your circuit layout. Uh, and you say, well, that's actually a lot of resistors. Uh, is there some way for us to kind of simplify that or to, to kind of take all of this big blob of, of resistors here um, and turn that into something that's uh, going to be a little bit easier to work with? Uh, so for instance, if we had just power supply and a single resistor, well, that would be much easier to analyze. Uh, so what's the process that we can use if you've got a big network of resistors to turn them into a simplified equivalent? Uh, so that's what we're looking at uh, in this video. Uh, so the first pattern that we need to be able to recognize uh, is when we have resistors connected in series. So resistors connected in series looks like this. So I have uh, a resistor and then I have another resistor and they're connected kind of head to tail. Uh, and I could have a third resistor, uh, and this pattern can continue basically like this, head to tail. Um, so this is when uh, they are connected in series. Uh, now if I was to label these, I could have R1, R2, R3, R4. What I mean by this is the resistance in ohms. So this is uh, 1 kilo ohm or 10 kilo ohms or whatever those uh, values of those resistors actually are then this entire network can be simplified. This thing is equivalent to one resistor with a new value, which I'm going to call R total. So I can turn this chain of resistors into a single resistor, and it has the exact same behavior in the circuit. And so this R total uh, is given by the formula that you see written here. So R total is the sum of all of the resistors that make up that chain in series. So that's a pretty simple uh, rule, but it's one that you need to memorize. So you need to be able to recognize this pattern. When you see resistors connected together in a chain like this, you know that you can combine them into a, a single resistance, which is just the sum of the individual resistances. Uh, now, one thing to recognize that's useful to understand here is the total resistance resistance is larger than any individual resistor. Any individual resistor, right? When you connect resistors in series, the total resistance gets bigger. So that's pattern number one, series. Pattern number two is uh, parallel, resistors in parallel. So parallel resistors look like this. This is where we have resistors connected uh, kind of head to head and tail to tail. So if I had, let's say this type of network, uh, the little circles that I'm drawing here uh, indicate that these are the terminals of the bit that I'm simplifying. So this could be connected to some other circuit. Uh, there could be, let's say, uh, another resistor over here, there could be a power supply, whatever other kind of components um, that we like. But when I simplify, I kind of take some portion of my circuit. So in this case, it's these three resistors in parallel. And I simplify kind of just that bit in isolation. Um, so we'll just uh, just look at this simple network of, uh, of three resistors. Now, if I was to write down the values, I would have R1, R2, and R3 for these three resistors. Then I can replace these in my circuit analysis by a single resistor, uh, which I'm going to again call R total. You might also see this called um, R equivalent for the equivalent resistance. Um, and that is given by this equation that you see here. So again, uh, important equation, you, you need to memorize this. You need to know it and you need to be able to recognize this pattern so that when you see resistors in parallel, that you're able to simplify and turn them into a, an equivalent uh, resistance that represents that total network. Uh, so this equation is a little more complicated. Uh, basically it says that the reciprocal of the total resistance is the sum of the reciprocals of each of the resistances. Uh, so we can also write it like this. We can also write R total is 
1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. In the case that there's three of them, this sum keeps going if there's more. Um, and all of that to the power of minus 1. So essentially, you, you just put in the numbers, open up your calculator, uh, and type it all out and just get the final answer, which is the equivalent resistance. Now, there's a special case that is worth knowing. Um, special case uh, for uh, two resistors. Um, and it looks like this. So if I have resistor number one, resistor number two, that's R1, uh, that one's R2. I have that one over R total is one over R1 plus one over R2. Now I can algebraically simplify uh, this right hand side and I can kind of put these two fractions um, over a common denominator. And so I would do that by multiplying uh, each fraction by the other uh, the other value. So the first fraction multiply top and bottom by R2. Uh, second fraction multiply top and bottom by R1. Um, and I would get this, which means that I can then write R total, just uh, flip, um, take the reciprocal of both sides of this equation, and it will be the product of the two resistors divided by the sum of the two resistors. So this is a, a useful little shortcut um, for the case of two resistors, and you might find it useful to know that one as well. It's okay if you don't memorize it because the, the general equation, which is the, the highlighted one here, that general equation uh, will work always for any number of resistors in parallel. Uh, but you might find it useful to know this little shortcut, the special case for the two resistors. Um, another point that uh, I, I will quickly mention is the total resistance, total resistance is smaller than uh, any individual resistor. Right, so when we combine resistors in parallel, uh, the total resistance goes down. So that's opposite to the case of series. Right, resistors in series, the total gets larger. Resistors in parallel, the total gets smaller. So that's another pattern that is useful to know. All right, I'm gonna do an example. So this one comes from the textbook, it's example 3.1. Uh, and they've given us this particular circuit here. Uh, part A says simplify the circuit, and then part B says calculate the power that is delivered by the source. So what I'm going to do is simplify, I'm gonna combine this whole network of resistors into a single resistor so that I then have a really simple circuit uh, that's going to be easy to analyze. So the way that I approach this problem, uh, is I first look for some uh, parts that I can simplify using those two rules that we've just spoken about. And so in particular, over here on the right-hand side, I, I recognize these two resistors here that I have circled. Um, these ones are connected in series, uh, which means that I can combine them. So what I'm going to do uh, is, is calculate that the... Um, equivalent resistance or the total resistance of these ones will be the sum. Um, so that's 2k plus 3k, which is 5 kilo ohms. So I can replace this circled part with a 5 kilo ohm resistor. Um, so let's jump in and, and do that. So this is my working for part A. Now I'm going to redraw the circuit, but with uh, that part simplified. So I have six kilo ohm resistor, I have a 24 kilo ohm resistor, four kilo ohms, 20 kilo ohms, and now this bit that I just simplified is 5K. All right, so that's good, we're making some progress. So now again, I look at this circuit and I see, well, what patterns do I see that I can simplify? Um, and again, I look over here and I notice here I have two resistors in parallel. 
uh, two resistors in parallel. So I can simplify that. So I have that R equivalent or R total will be 20K uh, in parallel with 5K. So sometimes we use kind of this double line symbol like a mathematical operator uh, that says we're going to calculate what is 20 kilo ohms in parallel with 5 kilo ohms. And because these ones are is just two, I can use that special case, right, which is the product divided by the sum. So I have 20,000 multiplied by 5,000, the product divided by the sum. So that's 20,000 plus 5,000. Um, so I just have now this equation. Uh, I go and look that or type that um, into my calculator. I'm looking at the book next to me and that is uh, 4,000 or four kilo ohms. So the total uh, equivalent resistance of this, these two in, uh, in parallel is four kilo ohms. So now uh, making progress, I can now redraw my circuit, this time uh, a little bit simpler. So let's go again, I have 50 milliamp current source. I have six kilo ohms resistor. I have 24 kilo ohm resistor, four kilo ohms. And then the bit that I just calculated, replacing those two circled resistors, that one is just simply 4K. All right, again, what's the pattern that we notice? Uh, here I have resistors in series. So resistors in series. So R equivalent for this will be simply um, the sum of these two. So that is 4K plus 4K, which is 8 kilo ohms. So again, making some progress. I redraw my circuit with this component simplified. So. 50 milliamp source with 6K with 24K and the bit that I just calculated, eight kilo ohms. And then we'll connect all of these up. All right, what can we see now? What's the pattern that we recognize? Well, here I have three resistors connected in parallel. Three resistors in parallel. So I know that the equivalent resistance of this is going to be one over 6,000 plus one over 24,000 plus one over 8,000 and all of that uh, to the power of minus one. So I get my calculator, uh, I multiply all of that out, and the answer that I get is three kilo ohms, 3,000 ohms. So finally, I can draw the simplified version of my circuit. And we have just one current source and one resistor, and the resistance of this is just 3K. So much, much uh, simplified circuit. Uh, now part B asked me to calculate what is the power uh, in this circuit. Um, so part B, I have um, the power is I squared R, or the power that is supplied by the source is going to be I squared R. Uh, so that will be 50 milliamps, so that's 0 0.05 amps squared uh, multiplied by uh, 3000 ohms. And the answer for that is uh, 7.5 watts um, delivered. So 7.5 watts delivered um, by that source. If I was to, if, if I leave off the word delivered here, then I should put a negative sign by the passive sign convention to indicate that um, you know this is power being supplied into the circuit. But if I write the word delivered, then I'm communicating the direction or the, the fact that this is uh, generating or supplying energy. 
Um, so that's an example of simplifying the circuit. So basically we use our pattern of uh, when, we, when we can recognize resistors in series and when we recognize resistors in parallel, uh, we can combine them using these formulas uh, in order to get a much simpler circuit that is then easier to analyze.